Hi lovelies, how are we doing today? Hope you're good. It's a lovely sunny day in Norfolk today, which is really nice because it's about the first one of the summer holidays. So um, we can get outside and do some lots of lovely nice things as well. Um, so hope you're having a lovely day. Um, this little video um, is about our Soothe and Hydrate kit. We've had a bit of an update with one of our moisturisers and I just wanted to give you um, a heads up as to what it's like, what it's for and how to use it. Um, so this kit is for if you are normal, maybe normal skin type, maybe you might be a bit oily on your T-zone, um, dry lovelies if you're you have rosacea if you're a bit sensitive if you are very sensitive I would choose unscented so I would always choose unscented cleanser um, toner and moisturizer um, if you are particularly oily oily or blemish prone I would look at the clear and balance kit and if there are um if you're concerned with perhaps darker patches on your face and you'd really need a lot of brightening, then the Brighten and Renew kit would be for you. But this is a brilliant kit. If you've never used Tropic before, um, you're not bit quite sure what your skin needs at the moment. It's a brilliant kit to start with. So I'm going to just explain how to use it all. So first up, I would use our smoothing cleanser. The, I've got the big one, but it's the regular size, which is half the size of this that comes in the kit. Um, but I do lots of pampering and I use this twice a day. So that's why I've got the big one. So I'm going to pop a couple. I It's probably about, if you're first starting, maybe about a couple of pumps in your hand. Obviously, you can adjust it as, uh, as necessary as you get used to the products. So I'm just going to massage it into my hand and then all over my face. Um, it will take off full on mascara, full on smoky eye, waterproof mascara, the works. All I would say is perhaps pop a bit on your end of your finger and then massage it round to really get all the dirt off and it in, into where the product is. So I've already got my damp bamboo cloth. Um, this one is the slate version, which is quite nice for the old makeup um, to get that off. And then all I do is wipe it all over. It exfoliates a little bit as well. And um, once you've um, finished with this, if you then just rinse it under the tap, hot tap, and then put it on the side of the sink. Once it's getting too mucky, you can pop it in your washing machine. But I would just be mindful as to what you're using in the washing machine. These are lovely um products with no harsh chemicals in so you might just want to be mindful as to what you're washing it with so that's all lovely now one top tip i will say is do apply your products when your face is damp because if you are a drier lovely in even if you're not if you apply it when it's damp you're getting more moisture into the skin which will help your moisturizer lasting all day now in this kit you also get a Juicy Greens toner. Now, I did say if you were um, super sensitive to go for the unscented, this one is absolutely perfect for sensitive lovelies as well. So you don't, if you prefer the Juicy Greens, go for that one. Now, I would go for Juicy Greens um, if you would like smoothing out and a bit of help with pigmentation as well. We do have a different toner called Morning Mist, which I'm going to pop on as well just to show you. So it's a case of popping it in your hands and patting it into the skin. And the toner helps prepare the skin for the moisturiser and all the serums that you're putting on afterwards. So it gives it something to attach to. So um, it's a nice little step to do in between. And with this one, you're getting the extra benefits of um, the kiwi in there to help the pigmentation and the smoothing out because there's exfoliator as well. And with the morning mist, all about the hydration and the gorgeous scent as well. Um, if you are pressed for time, you can splash with a uh, cold water onto your skin, which will help the um, the dampness of your skin and then your moisturiser get to go in a bit. Um, but it's lovely to use these as, these if you've got them in the kit. So this is the morning mist. 
I'm just going to do one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then spritz over. It's a really fine mist. I've actually um, liked the unscented because it smells of cucumbers, but the scented's lovely too. I just got that one at the moment. Um, now, the next part is our serum. And th in this kit, you get the Rainforest Dew, which is our hydration serum. So I'm going to pop about uh, four drops on my um, hand obviously you can tailor it to your skin type and all i've just done is massage it like that and then pat it into the skin it's much better to pat your products in instead of dragging it because we don't like the dragging on the skin it's not great for it okay let me just pop on my neck as well um now in this kit <clears throat> this is the brand new moisturizer so this is absolutely boom my hair in my mouth for um you if you are sensitive but if you have rosacea as well so this is why we've popped this one in this kit now as you can see i'm going to show you that's all i will need it's green as well because it also has our wonderful tamanu healing balm in so um this is our brand new soothing moisturizer and I'm going to show you, so I will use just that much. That was two little pumps, really. And then to really help with the redness and the sensitivity of the skin and to give you an amazing glow, I pop in a couple of drops of super greens into it. So this is your nutrient boost oil. So it's got kale, it's got green coffee in. It's all about getting the nutrients into your skin to give you a glow and this has tamanu in as well, so it's really good for healing too. So I'm just going to pop a couple of drops in oops, of that. And this I will do more. Oops, whoopsie. And this I will do morning and night. So all I'm doing is massaging them together. And then I'm going all over. I'm just going to leave my eyes because they are quite, your eye skin is very thin and it's sometimes a bit better to put sometimes these moisturizers and oils are too heavy for your eyes so sometimes it's nice just to use a separate eye cream so i'm just see it just sinks in really lovely it's really nice so i would urge everybody if you have rosacea or redness skin relief is a really lovely product to try let me just see if i can um so it has the Madagascan leaf of life plant, which is deeply hydrating. OK, so it helps with the barrier on the skin, helps reduce the redness and the sensitivity. Now, if perhaps you don't have any redness on your cheeks or you're not particularly sensitive, but you're neutropic, you want a really lovely skin care routine that's going to give you gorgeous glowing skin and you quite fancy the serum and the oil, then the other moisturiser I would suggest is Skin Feast. So this will, this is hydrating because this is designed for dry skin. It is a lighter texture. So it is more of a gel type texture on the skin, whereas this one is more of a cream texture. So it's a, a nourishing cream concentrate and it's yellow because of the rosehip oil in. So it's super hydrating. There's hyaluronic acid in here as well. And, <coughs> excuse me, and that's a really good option if perhaps you're not um, red on your cheeks or you don't need that other, the, the really soothing moisturiser. So that's the other option I'd go for. And the other thing you get in the kit is our comfort food mask. Now, I love this mask because you don't have to use it as a mask. I know lots of people think, oh, I've got to use that 20 minutes and then take, take it off and it just doesn't fit in with my lifestyle. That's absolutely fine because what you can do with this one is instead of one of, instead of your moisturiser at night time, perhaps two or three times a week, pop a thin layer of this on and just go to bed. So cleanse, tone, pop this on and then go to bed in it and it's great for anywhere that's dry so possibly you can use a little bit as a hand cream a foot cream wherever it, wherever is dry on the skin and actually it's really good for little ones if you've got kids or grandchildren um if they get red cheeks sometimes it, it 
<laughs> you can use it on them too. Actually, or everything can be used on them if um, they need a bit of soothing. And that's our cat Peach, if you want it, if you're interested in her. Um, so just a little rundown. Any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to help and do pass any information on to your friends and family. That would be really, really appreciated. But take care, lovelies, and have a super day. Thank you.